Hello, my friends. It's uh, Thursday, and it's the 17th of May, which happened to be uh, Norway's National Day. So, a licklig ferry, I think it is the phrase. Hope that uh, is correct, my Norwegian friends. Um, I thought I'd answer three questions which have a similar theme that have come in the, in the last few weeks. So, firstly, there's uh, Matthew from Swansea. Hello, Matthew. Uh, he says, uh, when you were in your early 20s, what did you enjoy doing most? Good question. Uh, Nicole from Liverpool. All right. uh, when not working, what are your hobbies? Another very good question. And then Chelsea from Dover. There we go. Uh, Chelsea from Dover. Uh, what do you hate most? Very good question. Um, so here we go, early 20s. Well, uh, I was a bit of an adventurer in my 20s. I had a job, I worked in, in the civil service and I was fortunate enough to get to work in Westminster. Uh, and uh, so when I was there, of course, I'm in the centre of London with lots of wonderful, wonderful things to go and see and do when you're not working. Uh, I, my job in the civil service is very simple. I just push paper around for hours and hours uh, uh, on end. Uh, but I did tend to work late, so very often I wouldn't finish until sort of half past six or seven o'clock. So what I would do then is go off to Leicester Square, go to to the uh, cheap ticket booth and um uh, and get myself a ticket to whatever shows were on so as a result and we're talking about the 1980s um i told you it was a long time ago um I got to see all sorts of weird and wonderful shows, uh, some curious uh, experimental shows. I got to go to the museums, the galleries, the Portrait Gallery, um, the South Bank, uh, the Festival Hall, got to see all sorts of concerts, the Albert Hall. So it was a wonderful time for somebody who liked the arts and was aspiring to work in the arts. Um, uh, so that's what I sort of did. I all, and then getting on to Nicole's question about my hobbies, uh, that sort of was my hobby at the time. Plus, I was an assistant warden of a music centre and had some very exciting times there uh, and uh, working with uh, students, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, uh, and uh, I, as I sort of got to my mid-twenties, I started looking more at charitable work and I began to develop a social conscience and I would support all sorts of uh, events, organisations and charities that um, hoped, uh, helped with uh, social needs. Um, as well as the usual health charities, uh, animal charities, conservation, and I even got into the realms of armchair politics, uh, which <laughs> helped me, as some of you know, I can be a bit of a devil's advocate now. But it was very interesting, particularly when I was working uh, in Westminster, I got to meet all sorts of people of all sorts of political flavours and get to understand how they think very bizarre way of thinking I have to say um, and uh, uh, but so that was it my mid twenties that was such a long time ago now Chelsea of Dover what do I hate most oh, hypocrites uh, um, uh, but I think as I've got older I've begun to appreciate um, how precious time is so anything that wastes my time I really do hate uh, and very often we've all experienced it you've got your day planned uh, you're going to do this that and the other the phone rings the doorbell rings or something else and then something happens that steals your time and I have to say I hate that with a passion and um, so if you don't waste my time <laughs> Uh, I'm very happy to see you. Uh, and to add to my hobbies now, of course, uh, is answering fan mail, which is always lovely. And uh, this is an example of me answering at least three people. So, uh, Matthew, Nicole and Chelsea, I hope I've answered your questions. Uh, and um, I look forward to hearing some more. So to the rest of you do, please keep on sending in your fan mails, and I'll get round it as soon as I can. But for now, this is Simon Says, and until the next time, bye.